Hi everyone, hi Nick. I have a couple of completed uh, projects to share with you. Um, this is a sort of a combination, it's a pre-sale journal and she also ordered um, a leather um, clutch bag um, similar to the ones that I did uh, before Christmas and but she wanted one um, sort of neutral for every day and she asked um, for it to fit a journal of this size um, the one that she had previously purchased so I just kind of I kind of I just clumped them all into one into one into one order so this bag will fit um, this size journal which is like a little over five by seven with like a two inch spine so uh, I'll show you the bag first it is um, made from like a just an off-white ecru I guess she, would be the old-fashioned term for it um, in the faux leather that I have and it's just all it's all sewn it's gusseted on the bottom and it's just all sewn on the sewing machine these are really easy these are really easy to make and um, just to make it really simple for every day I just took um, some wide vintage this is some really wide vintage lace and um, this is some lace from Hobby Lobby and this is more vintage lace. The bottom is this entire um, width. So this is the top edge of this. So then I brought, brought it down and then this is a narrow strip of some other vintage lace and I just stitched them all on there. So it's, it's a good every, you know, he uses an everyday um, clutch bag or you know, to carry a journal in or whatever. That's all totally neutral. Um, that's what it looks like. Oops. Not going on focus. That's what it looks like on the inside. They're very simple. And it will fit like a, like I said, like a 5x7. Um, here's one. Here's a journal. The next journal that I'm working on, you can see it, this is the same size. So it will fit. So when you have the journal in it, Kind of looks like that. And I'm not putting that other one in there because there's glossy accent on the cover that's not quite dry yet and I don't want it to get stuck in there and then have to pick it all off and do it over again. So you can see it'll it'll fit you know it'll fit that size journal and there's a sneak peek at the next one. So I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna try to quickly flip through this journal. Um, like I said, it's about five by seven. It has a two inch spine. Um, I made the cover. This is some navy um, 110 pound cardstock, which I did the cover the spine and then I made the corners. This is some Tim Holtz uh, paper. It's been gilded with a, where is it? Um, silver. Um, paint pen and then I mod podged over the entire thing and the closure is the Tim Holtz um, binder clips and some black chain um, it does have a little bit of give to it even though it's kind of busting at the seams as usual uh, and I even took I took some stuff out and it's still busted at the seams um, it's two two signatures and on the cover is like a Victorian style silver frame and the quote on the inside says you never ho know how strong you are until being strong is your only choice and um, those words mean a lot to me and I know they do to, to her as well and could be applied to a lot of situations and this is actually a quote from Bob Marley and we will, um, I'm just going to try to flip through this pretty quick. The kit I used is from Screech Owl, and it is, I don't remember the name of it now, I'm sorry. But it's, um, like Parisian fashions, and I can't remember the exact name of the kit. Um, but I will link her shop, so you can, um, go over there and check, and check it out. Um, the inside is the same uh, navy cardstock as 
the spine and the corners. And I don't usually put something extra on the inside front and back cover, but I did this time. And this is just one of those homemade envelopes that I make out of the kind of, you know, the piece together pages. Um, can tuck under there as well and can tuck something in there. I didn't put anything in it because this is, the journal was just going to explode. So <clears throat> I uh, stopped, stopped and actually I went back and took some stuff out. Um, I tried not to over, overfill it too much. We've got fabric ruffles. Um, I was trying something new with the corner flips. Um, I was inspired by Paula Lemon with her little with her snippet journals that she makes. Um, I think she sews these onto fabric, her, all of her little lace clippings. But I just I sewed them onto the paper, and um, used them as embellishments for um, the corner pockets. So I'm playing around with an idea of how to do this for a cover. So these all flip up and they're all sewn together. And then there's just, that's Artie Mays. And then there's ephemera from the kit. And then there's fabric ruffles, um, doilies, book page, grid paper. That's from the kit. And I made some tags. Uh, some coffee dyed um, file folder. And there's uh, lined paper, which I folded up and stitched to make little pockets. And that's a postcard from the kit. This little. These can be glued down to make uh, side tucks or just left as little flip outs. Um, glassine bags, more fabric ruffles, and ledger. some of that really old um, Sears and Robot catalog. There's sheet music. Did some um, doily and scallop circle side tucks. I haven't done these in, oops, and there's some brown, uh, blue paper. And I did these doily tucks. I haven't done those in a long time. Another tag that I made, and this is from the kit. And these are all uh, double tucks, and they are sewn together, but they're glued on, but they are sewn together. I used to make these all the time. I hardly ever do them anymore. A little notebook paper and dictionary and Edith Holden. From the kit. There's another corner flip. That folds out. Some Map paper. This is from um, Vintage Magazine from the 30s. Oop. Glued. Yeah, very glued. That's from the kit. And that's a double tuck. Same on that side. And that's the center of the signature. That's a little, um, little banner from the kit these two tucked underneath. Another flip up. That's all from the kit. Pretty much everything is just from the kit. And that is Tsunami Rose, I think, and another tag that I made. lot of room for writing in this one. Um, this ties together and it opens up and there is extra paper in there for some more journaling. And then that just ties back up, which I will do after. And it's open in the back as well. flip. 
ephemera from the kit and a permalinda tag. So some extra paper. Stay straight. Another fabric ruffle. Paper bag. Another uh, bottom top loading pocket. Tag from the kit. There's another permalinda tag. That's the first signature. The second one is similar. That's the other half of that uh, catalog, Sears and Robot catalog page. It's pretty similar. Same variety of papers, more doily tucks. Some blue paper. Another flip up. Square doily <clears throat> fabric ruffles, magazine page, it's another pocket, some different ephemera in there, and more sheet music. This book page, Edith Holden. Calendar. It's another flip. It's from the kit and another, another tag. Paper bag. Another tuck spot. Vintage ledger with the um, old writing still on. Another top tuck. Another flip up. Notebook paper, and there's another one of these. It ties. If I can untie it. It ties up again. There's some, some seam binding. It's my brother's music, but it's my writing on the back. Don't know why it has my writing on the back. I have no idea. It's just some extra paper in there for some more journaling. And I'll tie that up after. I do. Glued something together. Of course I did. And grid paper and another flip up. Some ephemera from the kit. From Edith Holden and a book page. And music and notebook paper. Another pocket. Magazine. Blue paper, another doily tuck, that's from the kit, and this is the Rose, oops, that's not upside down. And then on the back inside cover, there's a vintage, um, crochet doily that I stitched onto some doubled over coffee dyed paper just to stiffen it up. This little circle is from the kit and then I just tucked behind it another large tag and this kind of a tag and these from the kit. I just tucked those off. 
in there. So that is that one. I'm going to get these off in the mail oh, sometime this week. Um, it's not going to be tomorrow, maybe Wednesday if it doesn't storm again. Um, so we shall see. Uh, Terry, I hope you like your journal and your um, and your bag. Uh, and if anyone has any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And I will be back with um, this journal in a few days. And I'll see you next time. Bye.